<laughs> Good luck sleeping tonight. <laughs> Yeah, that was creepy. Hi everyone, welcome in, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emmy. if you're new here. It's so good to have you here. Today we are watching Gravity Falls Season 2, Episode 2, Into the Bunker. So last episode was obviously the season opener. I really wasn't sure whether or not we were going to address what Stan was doing with all three books. But we did it picked up immediately after that and i mean we're still left with a lot of questions but at least at the very least stan came clean ish to dipper saying that he knew that you know all this magical and supernatural stuff going on in gravity falls is true but they both cross their fingers stan saying that he would tell the whole truth aka he won't and dipper saying that he'll only use the stuff in the book for defense which you know knowing dipper he's a curious kid he literally raised the dead last episode probably won't happen we were also introduced into two like fbi agents which was very cool kind of reminded me of like x files and it was cool too because one of the voice actors is a voice actor of moron swanson and i love parks and rec so it was fun to hear his voice in the show too. You know, obviously we've only watched one episode in this season so far, but it does seem like the stakes are a bit higher than last season, but I don't know. I think there will be a lot of insight to the pacing and what we can expect in this episode too. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get into it. If you aren't already subscribed, I'd really appreciate that. Of course, a thumbs up is appreciated too. Also on my Patreon, I'm four weeks ahead, so if you're interested in both early access and full uncut reactions, you can check out my link for that in the description below. All right, let's go. Far worse, Trixandra. There. Trixandra. Nearly almost dead, but not quite. <laughs> Nearly almost dead, but not quite. AKA last episode, kinda. They're slow. Just power walk away from them. How much? Okay, honestly though, zombies can't run. You could literally just run away, right? Oh yeah, Robbie. How's uh, how's all that going? Yeah, how is that going? Because you guys broke up. Winky frown? What does that even mean? <laughs> and you're not. I like the winky frown. That's funny. Meet my new boyfriend, dude. Oh. <laughs> Wendy scared me for a second. I thought she did have a new boyfriend. Wanted to join me and Mabel on this mystery hunt tomorrow. Conspiracy Close. stuff and all that. Close dipper. What is the age difference between them? It's like a few years, right? That's all we'll ever be. Aww. He really wants to tell her about his feelings for her, though. <laughs> Bras are scary. I remember Codename Kid Next Door had a whole bra themed episode. It made them seem so scary. Hey, easy with that. It's genuine plastic. It's genuine plastic. Okay, well at least we're fixing up the place. Big woodpecker. Yeah, a giant one. Definitely not zombies. Would you need a Seuss? You, uh, oh, oh gosh, I don't know. Seuss? What does rhyme with Seuss? Caboose. <laughs> we may have found his secret hiding place. We find oh, that we oh, a bunker. Like an end of the world bunker? That's exciting. This will be a cool episode. Doesn't Post Malone have a bunker? I remember hearing that about that. Ow! 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 Who put that wall there? Dude, Ow! dude needs a taller house. Can't he just make it? He's a lumberjack. Allow me to put on my skepticals. <laughs> I've moved on, Mabel. Skepticals. That's smart. That's a very clever joke. I like it. Seems like we need like a ladder. Or like ladder shoe. Wendy's a woman of the forest. She has this. Good thing we have her. Good thing that bush was there. Oh. Whoa. That's so cool. Stairs going down there. That is so cool. This is so stupid. Wow. A true apocalypse shelter. My face feels fuzzy. Ew, Mabel. I don't like that. But what kind of disaster would need supplies for over 60 years? The apocalypse? A world in flames, perhaps? Yes, I will have some of your old-timey face food. A pest dispenser! Those are fun. Wait a minute. <gasps> a draft. I think I know where he might have gone. Whoa! 
through here? But where does it go to? Good thing nobody's claustrophobic, I guess. Oh! All the symbols. Oh my god, this is like that episode of Clone Wars, the box. That was a good episode. It's hard to be scared with caterpillars on your face. Um, Mabel, I beg to differ because caterpillars alone on my face would alone make me scared. Stop! Dipper, what do we do? Press on another symbol. It's four symbols. Quick, everybody step on one. Convenient that there's four of us. <laughs> oh, he lost his vest. Yes. He actually always loses vests. <laughs> Seuss, Seuss, that is hilarious. That was hilarious, Seuss. What the? <gasps> Dear Wendy, Mabel, Mabel, don't look at it. <gasps> what are you? Give me that. I do it. I do it. I do Mabel, it. be a bro and keep quiet about it. Just tell her already. One way or another, you'll feel better afterwards. One way or another, maybe, depending on her reaction. This never happened. This is creepy though that there's a surveillance room. Like, is it on all of Gravity Falls? This is for your own good. What? Ah! <gasps> Mabel, you locked him and Wendy in a closet together. Good lord. <laughs> Mabel's just been I'm not sure that's a good idea. Again. It's really good nobody's claustrophobic, I repeat. Oh, it's a decontamination room. Oh, this is freaky. This is more and more reminding me of Clone Wars. Look at that. Look at those tanks. <laughs> no, it looks like a bug. No. Clone Wars was so big on bugs, too. That is so wise. Dipper! Versions of those caterpillars that were on Mabel's face. I'm gonna find another way out. Wait, what? Dude. Dude going? would rather go through this creepy place and tell her how he feels. Classic Dipper. <gasps> oh my god. That must be the author, right? That's him. And it's not Stan. I actually had a theory that it could be Stan, but it's not. I've been down here for a very long time. Years. Weeks, maybe. <laughs> Years, weeks, maybe. It's nice that he's not violent against us right away. It's a shapeshifter, able to take the form of anyone or anything it sees. Oh, oh no, that's freaky. A shapeshifter? I predict that the shapeshifter will turn into Wendy, and Dipper's gonna tell the shapeshifter Wendy his feelings. Frozen? I'm frozen. Frozen? I'm frozen. Mabel. There's a monster in there with them? I thought he was just joking! You know Dipper's jokes are terrible! <laughs> sure, Dipper's not that funny. Oh yes. After all these years. I'm getting suspicious vibes from him. I might have to put on my skepticals. A fire hazard? No. It's a fun hazard. Now let me light the way! I love Mabel's sweaters this season. Last episode she had a boombox sweater that worked, and now this time a light bulb? Very cool. Dipper. Fuck. I don't get it. My journal back. The can sat his face on I don't get it. Oh, he's a shapeshifter. That is too scary. So that's not what the author looked like. He just used the identity of the can. That six-fingered nerd hasn't been himself in 30 years. But I do thank you for- Six-fingered nerd? Six-fingered nerd? In the last episode, Stan put on a glove that had six fingers on it. I went back to watch. I thought it had five because most cartoon characters have four. But it had six and he had five fingers for it. <laughs> Interesting. My theory may be close. Also, the shapeshifter business is very scary. Shapeshifters are terrifying. Okay. <laughs> Even better the second time. It's definitely them. Yeah, I would say that's them. He broke out of his cage, pretended to be the author, and wants Dipper's journal. <laughs> Wendy's cool. She has great survival skills. I say we return the favor. Okay, Wendy, pop off. I love the confidence. Reveal yourself. 
you single form human weakling! Oh, boy. That's disgusting. Or the other. How about both? Oh, that's disturbing. That's genuinely disturbing. I feel like that could give me nightmares. Oh god. Oh god, is she not out? Wendy! Is no, she okay? No, 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 no. Can you hear me? What if that's the shapeshifter though? In love with you, Wendy. Oh. He is saying it. Uh, Dipper. Oh my god. What, 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 Wendy? Wait, which one's the real one? Man, I was on with the prediction, but I didn't think that the real Wendy would hear it. Hit her with the axe! Don't listen to her, Dipper! She's oh my god. This is what I predicted would happen in that clones episode, where you don't know who's who. <gasps> yeah, definitely not the Wendy that would wink at us. Definitely the Wendy that knows about our zipping our lips, throwing away the key. Oof. Nice, Mabel. Ugh. Disgusting. I'm glad he's taken care of. <laughs> Creepy. Wow. <laughs> Good luck sleeping tonight. <laughs> yeah, that was creepy. Dude, dude, it's okay. I always kinda knew. No. I mean, you think I can't hear that stuff you're constantly whispering under your breath? <laughs> That's true. I'm too old for you. I mean, you know that, right? Aww. Sad. Friends? Yeah, dude! Friends! <laughs> Aww. Well, I'm glad that he did get to say it. It didn't work out perfectly. But at least they're still friends. Relation, I'm already working on a list of your potential rebound crushes. <laughs> Who? Who would be on that list? At least I got his science and coat and briefcase. Whoa! <gasps> a laptop. Briefcase, that's a laptop. And it really busted up. Property of F. F. So maybe his name starts with F. The Whittlest Wampire. <laughs> <laughs> I would watch that. Help! My mummy's a werewolf. Attack <laughs> of the exclamation points. I would watch all of these. Ghost Turtle. Help! Ghost Turtle would be on the top of the list. Channel again. Oh, more codes, a picture at the end. Friends, thank you so much for watching Gravity Falls Season 2, Episode 2 with me. That was a really, really good episode. I mean, it genuinely scared me with the shapeshifter. I think shapeshifters, the idea of them is always just so terrifying because it really ignites a paranoia within you. And then we thought we got to meet the author, but obviously it was a shapeshifter and we still don't even know what he looks like or his name. But... I did notice something and I'm actually proud about this because in the last episode when Stan was putting on a glove, I noticed that one of the fingers of the glove he, like wasn't used, like he had not enough fingers for that glove. And I assumed while watching it because I couldn't like count the fingers that fast while watching it that it was one of those things like how people usually draw cartoon characters with only four fingers instead of five for whatever reason. I thought it was like a normal five finger glove put on a four finger cartoon. But when I was editing that episode, I noticed that he did have five fingers, so that means that the glove had six fingers. <laughs> I feel like I sound so insane right now just saying fingers and counting them all the time, but that is something because the shapeshifter said something about the author that you'll never find that six-fingered freak, which means, you know, follow me on this, that Stan is in the possession of the author's glove. Now, what that means, I don't know. I mean, it could it still be Stan as the author, or could it be somebody really, really close to Stan? Something. It's something. And time will tell for sure. But I am really happy and I'm proud of myself for like noticing that and connecting those two pieces. But yeah, thank you again so much for watching with me. And until I see you in the next video, I hope you stay hydrated, stretch your legs, please don't get arrested, and I will see you then. Goodbye.